gloves are useful. Saves my elderly thin skin. <laughs> This is the first time this particular socket has actually been in there, so we'll see if it goes in easily. The secret is to keep wriggling it, rather than using the thread to pull it in. About now I'm thinking, will we ever get it out? Or is it in there forever? Well, I think that'll do for now. Here we have the adapter. That's a mighty bit of flex. From uh, BICC 60 amp, 63 amp connector to 16. <laughs> Will this work? I <laughs> Does it eventually connect to one double A cell? interesting the lights went out when I plugged that in. Okay. That's annoying. That means that the surge on that has tripped the circuit breaker. <sighs> hmm, there will be a short intermission. So that's the output voltage, we'll set that back up to a nominal 240, yeah? Yep. And uh, we're going to put our three AVRs are in bypass, so what's the expression, tune for minimum smoke. Uh, and the van is drawing uh, about not quite an amp. So all we have powered now is the AVRs, the input circuits are alive all the time. And they're making an interesting sort of 50 hertz buzzing noise. Going to look at the mains input panel now. The unregulated supply is on, the C circuit is on, and the A and B technical services are off. Uh, but the voltmeter here, uh, excuse me while I get my head in for a moment, that's lying in at 240, and that's the A and B circuits are off, and there's the C circuit on. So. What will be interesting now is we'll give that variac a bit of a tweak and see what happens. Having put C circuit back in the C circuit AVR back in circuit on the input panel. So 
So we'll put C into circuit and uh, I'm going to deliberately set this down a few volts to 220. worked. That now says um, 180 which isn't right. The AVR is stuck, it hasn't corrected. Hmm, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. The AVRs are doing something now because uh, it's a constant um, KVA sort of arrangement. When the voltage goes up the current goes down and vice versa. So by turning the voltage up uh, I can see that the current meter that will, no, that's not going in the right direction. That should go down when you turn it up. We've done some more work on the AVRs. Uh, AVR A uh, is only slightly problematic. AVR B is working well, but AVR C is not working. We did uh, think that there was a fault with the control pot that uh, provides the set point for the servo amplifier. It seemed to leap off one end, so we thought the pot was iffy and changed it, but alas, it made no difference. So we need to do more work on that particular servo amplifier. We think there's a fault internally with the electronics, but it's such a chore. It's a heavy lump to take out and put on the bench. Anyway, uh, we have our test load here uh, and uh, we're going to show you the dip in voltage when we turn it on, how the a AVR recovers the voltage. And then uh, once we turn this off, and the um, AVR reduces the voltage to the correct level. So here we go. So we'll have a look at the um, readings for AVR A now. I'll just go and switch it into circuit. And here we go. You'll see the voltage there dips when we apply the load and doesn't recover. Uh, until I take the load away. When the weather has improved, it's raining at the moment, so it's no fun at all outside. Uh, we'll have a go at taking particularly AVRC out and having a stab at the servo amplifier to see if we can find a fault. I have a feeling that there's a thermistor in there which is used as part of the network uh, for detecting the voltage change. It's in the bridge arrangement and I've got deep suspicions about that thermistor, but we'll see.